Hi, and welcome to this video where we will be testing out our final project. I'd like to go over a few things that we want to put in first. Before, and right here, we have to type in server inside of the code, server.begin. Also, we, let's scroll up to the beginning of setup. Somewhere around here. And here we want to just put in void. And down here, we want to put in void as well. And here we want to say server.handle.client. Then we can we can also write serial.println right here. HTTPS server started. Now let's go to the app. Here we want to go to info.plist and we want to add in an application category of app transport security settings. And we want to add an element, shift it to the right, and this will be allow arbitrary loads, and we want it to be yes. Now we also want to add speech. We'll add it in a moment, but let's go ahead and run it. And let's open it up in the simulator. Now let's go to voice control. And we have to go here. And we have to add in NFB speech recognition usage description. So NS speech recognition uh, usage description. There we go, and we want to say we need to use speech record for voice control. That is good. Now we can go back to Arduino, and I'm going to upload it. Okay, and make sure to download the Xcode app to your phone or on a simulator, but if you're on the simulator, you cannot use voice control. Okay, so I'm going to see you there. Okay, so here is our car. It is on the ground right now so that we can run it. I have my app out here. Right here. So I pulled it up on a phone so that I could actually control it. So let's start by pressing forward slow. Okay. Let's go backward. Stop. And um, I'm going to move it over. I'm going to zoom out a little bit just for your better view. And here we are with the phone again. Let's turn that way. Let's go faster. Let's come back. And stop. Uh, we can move around in many ways, and it doesn't matter. Anyway, this car is what you made in under four hours. Isn't it cool? We of sure sure you suffered a lot through that coding and all that wiring, but in the end you created something that you can actually play with and you can share it with other people and other people can play with it as well. You happy? Great. Because I'm going to be posting some extra things such as controlling your car from anywhere in the world as long as you're connected to internet through this thing called port forwarding and we are also going to build an app for that as well in the videos after this. Those are completely optional, but if you want to if you want to get some cool features for your car, it's just something to look forward to. I'll see you then. And um, if you're not going to watch it, then I'll see you in one of my other courses. And goodbye.